Happy New Year, Eagles! Here's this week's news. Renaissance signups are this week from Tuesday through Thursday, both lunches in the MP room. The application for the Elk Grove Regional Scholarship Foundation is now open. This application will link to nearly 200 scholarships valuing between $750 and $15,000. If you need help completing the application, see Mrs. Milady in the Career Center. All applications are due by January 27th. Tickets for Winter Homecoming go on sale Tuesday, January 17th, but guest passes are now available in the SB, ASB room. Please, please complete them as soon as possible because guest passes are due January 20th. Don't wait. This is the last month. This yearbook costs $90. Prices go up to $110 on January 26th. Senior ads are also due on January 26th. The due date for senior ads will not be extended. Seniors, if you have not already ordered your cap and gown, the prices go up to $50 January 27th. Order as soon as possible. To order, bleh, to order go to graduationorder.com and use the code PGHS916. The only requirements are a cap, gown, and tassel. All other items are optional. See the daily bulletin for more information. Also, seniors, remember to purchase your Sober Grad Night tickets. Prices go up $10 every month. Held at Country Club Lanes all night after graduation, this casino night themed event will include bowling, laser tag, a video arcade, bingo, a DJ, dancing, all you can eat food and drinks, exciting prizes, and best of all, wonderful memories that you will share with your graduating class. You don't want to miss out. Complete payment and permission slips directly online using this QR code. In the sports news, all athletic forms for the spring season will be collected at the cafeteria on Thursday, Thursday, January 19th. Students participating in baseball, men's golf, men's tennis, swimming, softball, men's volleyball, and track and field need to turn in all necessary athletic forms to be eligible to participate. Please see the schedule to determine when to arrive to submit your athletic forms on January 19th. Last week on Tuesday, women's basketball lost to St. Francis, and wrestling went to the No Guts, No Glory tournament. The JV girls had four champions and two silver medalists. Congratulations, Eliani Gaspar, on the varsity te girls team. Congratulations to Jamie Shafton. The JV boys team had two champions, three silvers, three bronze, and two fourth place finishers. Congratulations, Landon Blunt. Varsity boys had one champion, two silver medalists, and a sixth place finish. Congratulations to Hunter Hiller for being undefeated this season. Last Wednesday, January 4th, men's basketball lost to Jesuit. Over the weekend, men's soccer hosted Franklin. Varsity won 2-1 and JV lost 1-3. Women's soccer traveled to play Franklin. Varsity and JV both lost. Also, over the, over the weekend, men's basketball traveled to Davis. Varsity, JV, and Frosh all won. Well done. Women's Festival hosted Davis Varsity and JV both lost. Tomorrow, Men's Varsity Wrestling League duel is at Elk Grove High School at 5 p.m. And Women's Basketball competes against SIA with games at 5.30 and 7.30. On Wednesday, Men's Soccer versus Elk Grove is at 3, followed by Men's Basketball at CO with games at 4.30, 6, and 7.30. No events this Thursday, but Friday is packed. Men's soccer is at Davis, 3 p.m. Men's basketball faces Elk Grove at 4.30, 6, and 7.30. Women's basketball is at Elk Grove High School at 5.30 and 7.30, while men's varsity wrestling is at Tim Brown Memorial, 9 a.m. through Saturday. Finally, on Saturday, men's JV wrestling and women's wrestling are competing in the Red Devil Scuffle at Mount Diablo at 9 a.m. Remember to check out www.athletics.pghs.net for more information on all things PGHS athletics. In library news, normal hours are back Monday through Friday from 8 to 3.35. On Mondays, the library will be closed for meetings. After winter finals, there are over 500 overdue textbooks and library books that are now needed for Term 2. Please, return books from Term 1. Students who do not return their overdue books will not be given new books for Term 2 until they return what they owe. Scan this QR code for how to access your library account online 24-7. Remember to bring your Term 2 schedule, student ID card, or student view app when checking out books for a form of identification. Chromebook loaners or exchanges may be delayed during busy textbook distribution. Please be aware of your Chromebook use to avoid missing class time. Last but not least, make sure to check out the weekly advocacy update in your Synergy email to see a recording of the live broadcast and get access to other weekly news announcements. Have, Have a, a great, great week, Eagles! Eagles.